While many organizations are moving towards more modern RESTful APIs that process data in a data format such as JSON, YAML, or XML, the reality is that many organizations continue to use systems that process documents using the EDI standard. Sometimes, it may even be a prerequisite to do business with a major supplier or customer that you have the capability to communicate electronically via EDI. Hello and welcome to the Martini Knowledge Base video series. This demo will show you how to process an EDI document and write its contents to an ERP system. The demo will demonstrate a use case for processing a purchase order that was created using the EDFACT EDI standard. However, it can equally apply to processing other EDI documents that use the X12 standard. You can run this demo on any edition of Martini, including the free community edition. When you start Martini, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen containing demos for integrating systems, building workflows, designing APIs, or creating applications. Click on Demo 002, EDI Document to ERP, and click Install. When the pop-up appears, simply click on Finish. The package, as well as the other packages that this demo requires, will be automatically downloaded. It would then appear on your navigator. Right-click the package and click Start. A green icon will indicate it has started, while a test procedure that you can follow will also appear on your screen. Let's do the test together. In the navigator, expand the tree Demo002 EDI to ERP and go to Endpoints. The endpoints should already be started, which is indicated by these green lights. If they're not started, simply right-click on the endpoints and click on Start. Next, we'll dump an EDI document into the Dropbox. In the Navigator, open the Resources folder. Double-click the EDI document, edi850.txt, to view the content of the document. This content will be formatted and then sent to an ERP API. Right-click the EDI document and select Copy. If you don't see a Dropbox folder, simply hit Refresh on the Resources folder. Right-click on the folder, EDI Dropbox, and click on Paste. And there you go. Next, let's verify that the EDI document was saved and sent to the API. To do that, we'll have to open Martini Desktop's built-in HTTP client. So, click on Window, Show View, and click on HTTP Client. The tab should appear on your screen. Next, send a GET request to HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash ERP slash GET underscore PO. Make sure that the request is sent to GET. Alternatively, you can open the API file at code demo002 API and double-click on Sample ERP API. You can then drag and drop GetPO to the HTTP client view. Doing this will automatically configure a GET request to the GetPO API endpoint. Send the request to the API by clicking on Send. If the request is successful, you should be able to see the EDI data being returned from the request. To learn how all of that worked, and how the integration was carried out, you can check a line-by-line -line guide in our Knowledge Base article. You can get started with Martini for free at torocloud.com. Please feel free to leave a comment, hit that like button if this demo helped, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more instructional videos such as this one.